Hey everybody, Jeep here at an undisclosed location, AAK, our fishing spot. Um, I have the Scott Douglas bobber buddy here. We're actually going to give this a whirl today. Oh, and I see a catfish right there. I don't think I can I don't see know it. With... Will come up on camera, but there is one right. I there. see it too. So um, we're actually going to give this a give this a whirl today. Um, Fish haven't been fed in a few days. No rain. Yeah, we haven't had any rain. Usually, uh, right after the rain here isn't so good because there's a lot of nutrients that get put in, and, and food hasn't rained for a few days. I think we might be uh, set here. Um, I'm actually going to go out and cut a stick. Make a cane pole type thing, tie the stuff on. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up and show you the contents here and uh, give you an in depth preview of what's in the bobber, buddy. To start off, we have the bobber tied onto the top of a lanyard. This is a shotgun shell with 550 paracord wrapped around it, tied real nice. Got camo on this side, black on this side. These are the first of the two-tone editions. Simple enough, you pull off the cap. Inside here, we have stuff. We have a match. We have split shot A. We have on a dowel rod fishing line. I believe this is 20 pound test. And it's 10 or 14 feet, something like that. Uh, snap swivel. That's a locking snap swivel. Another match. Of course, you know if you catch fish, you got to cook them. A twister tail lure, in case you can't find any artificial bait. There's a couple. Looks like the. You mean live bait? Live bait. Uh, looks like a couple number six barbed hooks. And another split shot. So between the. All the contents here, you have a complete fishing kit, the line, the swivel, the hooks, matches, weights, and the artificial. I'm actually going to go out after I cut a switch and see if I can't find some worms. And I do see fish in there, so... Fishies! Uh, next section here is I'll actually go out and uh, get a switch. I do have my um, EDC Everyday Carry including my Leatherman, which I'm going to be using today, um, the saw and the blades, cut my and switch. And this is note to Seeds, uh, to Freedom, I am shouting out to you. If I catch a catfish, I will not kiss it. <laughs> that is the one fish I will not. And of course, I do have my EDC fire kit along with my other EDC items. Um, but this is a little, you know, what happens if you're out fishing, or not even out fishing, you're out and you get caught without your stuff. Alright, so it looks like Jeep is out working the wilds of suburbia, Illinois, and trying to find a switch for his... It looks like he actually found one. I am proud. Did you find a good one, baby? Yeah, this is my uh, Leatherman Wave, the saw. I'm gonna use this to clean it up. And I'm not sure if you guys can see him because I really can't see him on the viewfinder. But he's there, he's cleaning off the switch that he found. And we'll get back to ya. Okay, I got my stick here. One of the things I do want to do to it real quick. Uh, about, I don't know, six and a half feet tall. Um, it's right at the end. I'm just going to cut a little notch in the end here. Just, oh, you know what, I'm going to start over. Like that. Is a little notch here just to hold my line in place. Doesn't have to be much. 
we'll see here. This is my Leatherman Wave. Okay, and then I can actually tie that and that will help hold my line in the, so it just doesn't come off the end. Got a nice good base, something to get the line out over the water. Uh, usually in a cane pole situation, long is best. Um, but it started really thinning out, so I cut it down a little bit. I'm actually going to go out and see if I can't locate some worms. Okay, I'm just going to pick a spot here. We do have a nice, lush area, a lot of compost, a lot of things, so I think we're pretty lucky here. And uh, I'm just going to go through, get down here. I'm using my, what do we have here? Oh, here's a grub. Grubs work as worms too. Right there. Got a grub. It might be real good to use. And if you're really hungry, you can eat it too. down in the good stuff here. Uh, normally we would have found some worms by now. And they're really fully. Yeah, they have a little, little fully. You want to try closer to me? Found the grub. Oh, wait, look. Here we go. All right. We even got a night crawler here. That back up. So it looks like we have a grub and a night crawler. We'll get these set aside, and uh, we'll go ahead and um, set up our pole. Come right back to you. Okay, as you can see here, I'm just getting this down on that notch. You tie it off in there. Get a simple overhand. Get it into place. Tighten it down. This will unravel here on you. It is on a piece of dowel rod. Jeep girl was too short for this filming. Yeah, I actually forgot the tripod at home, so I apologize. Of course, when you're out in the the bush, you may not have a chance to have it. Oh come on! <laughs> Something big just jumped. That's Let's how much I love you, Jeep. Reel this out. Quite a length here. Come down to the end. We're going to actually use the whole thing. You do have that dowel rod. One thing nice about the dowel rod is if you do catch something and you need a little starting kindling, you can feather stick that, um, anything like that, even if you don't you can also tie this off to it and use it as your anchor point for your fishing line and get that set off in there and tie on the swivel in this particular case I'm actually just going to attach the hook straight onto the swivel normally you know fishermen we don't set it up like that we have a leader 
Um, but you know, we're in a survival situation. We're just going to set this up like that. And going to get our split shots. Crimp them on. Simple enough just to squeeze. Set them up. And this is where the bobber, bobber buddy part comes in handy because we're actually going to attach a bobber. Okay, I'll be right back with you when I get the bait off. Okay, I just took a section of the worm here and my pole. And it looks like my weight's going to be too heavy for my bobber. So, because we're bobber fishing, we will redo that. Good. Okay, I went ahead and took the split off, shots off the end there. We're going to try this again. Got the bobber buddy out there. And now it's just a matter of time. Go there and uh, see if we get anything. Like I said, we did, did just see that catfish go, go by here a few minutes ago. Um, I'll let you know as soon as we start getting a bite performance of the bobber buddy. You can see this. I can't see if I'm exactly zoomed right. There we go. We do have action on the bobber buddy. like some small ones possibly playing with it. See what happens here in a couple minutes. Sorry, we'll try that again. Jeep, what you doing? I'm fishing with the bobber, buddy. Did you get something? I did. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Oh, look at the size. That's the biggest yet. That is the biggest yet. Now that Jeep Girl doesn't know where her bobber is. Alright, I guess I'll go. We look at the pretty water because Jeep Girl can't stand up. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jeep Girl decides to walk around without shoes in a place that has a bunch of hooks. So, as you can see, got the bobber buddy here. Got the, the last chunk of the worm that we found. Um, we had been getting bites and... Oh, he's a pretty one. As you can see there, nice looking. We could almost keep him. Yeah, well, we're not here for that today. But as you can see, nice fish. Caught right on the bobber buddy. Stick, tied it on the stick, ran out the line. Found a worm. There you how go. Big, how big would you say he is, weight wise? Oh, weight? Oh, and, and just ounces. But um, he's six inches in length. So, Bobber Buddy, real life, you'd be eating tonight. Well, at least one of us would. <laughs> There's two plays. <laughs> But of course that's just the first one. The, we actually still have the worm. It stayed on the hook. And we yep. have a grub somewhere around here that we could also put on yep, there. We still got the grub. 
that we can put on. Somewhere. So uh, it's going to go back out and see if we can get another one. All right. So, Jeep, what you doing? Well, we're going to go ahead and pack up. We did, uh, we did prove that the bobber buddy can catch a fish. Um, we are actually going to put this kit back and to service, meaning ready to go. Because this test here was successful. Can, yeah, can you catch a fish on the bobber buddy? Well, we did. Wait. We found a grub and a worm. Um, there is artificial. Um, that probably be another test. It comes with the with the twister tail, so that will be another test. We're going to actually use the bobber then. We put a you know one of the weights on the thing and put the twister tail and just keep swinging it out there casting. But this was the bait section. You know, can you find obviously grubs, worms, whatever? I mean, there's a whole list of things that you can use, and we're going to hot actually, dogs. Take this back off. Corn works real good if you have corn, which happens to be growing right next to where I found the worm, too. So, um, you know, corn beetles, anything like that. Uh, if you're in the central United States, corn's everywhere. Um, so we're going to actually wrap this whole thing back up and put it all back in the kit. So start here, safely put the hook out of the way. And, uh, Reattach the bobber to the bobber buddy. So that's ready to go. I'm going to grab this, take the tape off of it. There's also the, the keeper tape there and the starter tape. So I'm actually going to peel that back off, like so. Get it ready for the line. Come up here to this end. And I'm actually going to cut this right at the head. I'll only lose an inch or so, but you know, we pulled the stick straight out of the woods, cut off all the extra limbs. It was nice, flexible, long, you know, six and a half feet. A little longer might have been nice. You might have get it out for a little further. I'll sit here and I'm going to actually wrap this back up on the dowel rod. It's going to take me a little bit of time and I'll come back in a second. Okay, coming up to the end here. When I get it all wrapped up here, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to leave the swivel on it. I will take the hook off the end of the swivel, but then I'm going to tape the line and the swivel all as one onto the dowel rod. So I'm just going to take that, take the extra hook back off. Hook's still really good condition. Finish wrapping that. Take this and the supplied tape for the bobber buddy. And there you go. So this can actually go back into the case. Put down the twister tail. Down the two matches. Down in there. The two split shots. Now that's real coming real handy if you're like catfishing and you want the weight to go down the bottom. That will come in real handy. Uh, it was a little bit too much for the bobber to handle. And then back into the two hooks. And the lid back on. And this bobber buddy is going to be ready for the next test. Um, not sure when we'll actually get out to the next one. This was just stage one. Bobber buddy all ready to go. Because, you know, you in the paracord, you have fishing line. You can take out the strands, tie them all together, fishing line. If you need shelter, you can run a, a taut line. You can use the paracord as trout line itself, bank line, you know, and you toss in and you leave it. It's strong enough that the, whatever gets on the end of it is going to hurt. And then you just leave it there, tie it to a street, tie it to a stick, tie it to a tree and just leave your bait out there and then you go out and forage for the rest of your stuff come back at the end of the day if the fish is truly on there it's going to stay on there so there's uh, many more uses to that but we just wanted to come out today do a little fishing 
and show you the bobber body does catch fish. Thank you for following. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And go yes. check out my boy Scott Douglas and the bobber buddy. All right, have a good day, guys.